Hey, what's good, YouTubers? This is Varco. Today I've got the Legacy of Revoltech Lupin the Third. I uh, hope I'm saying Revoltech right. That's just the way I like to say it. I don't really care. Um, yeah, these are the Legacy ones. These are the new ones that they've been dishing out here lately. And it's kind of just like their remake, so you're getting a second chance to get their old figures and not have to pay triple the price on eBay and stuff like that. And I really love that they're doing this. I hope that they release the skeleton uh, before I get off topic. Uh, yeah, so I'm really hoping they keep re-releasing these because uh, this is when their Japanese figures only cost like, what, like, this only cost me 30-something dollars max, maybe even less, which is amazing because look at all it comes with. The This is... Uh, like, blah. what am I trying to say? The like, figures have, the price has gone way up recently, so I'm really happy that they're re-releasing these so I can get my hands on them. Enough of my yapping, let's open it up. Accessories, accessories, and even more accessories. Uh, it's hard to believe that I got this for like 30 bucks off AmiAmi, Ami, which is the price that they sell it for. This is why I love these older figs and how much these Japanese imports used to cost before they started rising, raising the price recently. Uh... So he's going to come with four head sculpts, as you can see. All of them look pretty amazingly done. He's got a safe up there in the left-hand corner. I'm not sure what that little yellow dot is. Gun hand, gem hand. I'm actually liking that the fact that these gems aren't all loose, because that, that thing would have been hard. It would have been hard to keep track of if it was loose, so it kind of just comes with the hand. You can't do anything else with it. Another hand. I'm not sure what that is. Looks like a lock pick, lock pick like a key or something. More hand sculpts. These are bullet ricochet effects off the ground. He comes with a chair. That is a, uh, what do you call them? Little desk kind of thing right there. I can't think of the name. And that's the grappling hook right here. There's the desk. And he actually comes with even more hands, more accessories, and uh, a stand. So let's get a closer look at this bad boy. Voila! Here he is. So a few things off the back will open it. This leg actually keeps kind of falling off or one of them. It was a little weird. It just pops right back on, but it, it, it's not too bad. See, there it goes again when you kind of move it. it. Like I said, it's not too bad. It's a little bit annoying, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Let's go through the articulation first. It's kind of wobbly joints here. You can kind of tell it's an older toy. Uh, must have came out around... 2006. I'm not sure. It's it's older though. They kind of hid this joint really well though. They made it look more like a sock, but this is actually a joint, which is pretty clever if you ask me. What's not so clever is how this works. It's kind of weird. They kind of try to do too much the way these shoulders are. There's a ball joint in there, and these are kind of just like that. So that's it's a little odd to me. Uh, I guess it's a little bit older joint technology. They look like they're trying to do too much and. There's a weird joint here at the base of the neck, which doesn't do anything, so why add it? Uh, he can go look down really far. He can look up really far with that neck, the way it's sticking out. Uh, it, it, it does not look too bad, but it's not great either. Mm, ab crunch. It's kind of cool how his tie folds with them. Legs are going to go up like that. That's about it. That far back. Knees, great articulation. I like the way it uh, fits perfectly in that crease right there. Feet, and then they'll, they'll rotate too. And you got these weird Revil Tech uh, joints where you gotta, they don't have the directions, and these ones, the new ones, have the directions on them where you kind of have to get pliers and kind of turn these the way you have to. You don't have to get pliers, there's other ways around it. Kind of how I do it is I'll do that and kind of use this as an anchor. And never. I always pull with the way this crease is. Sorry, there's no uh, focus. Come on. I believe in you. It doesn't believe in me. This doesn't make any sense. Why won't you focus? Whatever. Okay, I kind of use this crease and I kind of... Oh, now it does it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's kind of... I don't really ever push that way because the way that's just... But, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. But usually you're supposed to get a wrench and turn that or else... It, your joints will get stuck in weird ways. Uh, arms. I already showed the shoulders a little bit. Here's the elbows. They're going to look like that. Joints are pretty well hidden. Wrist articulation, wrist swivel. And he's going to come with like a million different types of hands. Let's see, is this a right or a left? Pop this one out. You got to be, look how small this joint is. Be careful. I don't know how I can stress that enough. 
be careful. I'm so scared right now putting this on. <laughs> I feel like I almost popped this out too. It kind of moved a little bit, it felt like. So there he is with his little diamond. Uh, this is actually, you know, kind of like how the diamond hand is. It's attached to this, so it's not going to come off this grappling hook here. I like that. I'm not going to complain. And the way the gun is, I like that too. I'm not going to use this for any other figure. It's way too small. And a uh, size, it's 135 millimeters tall. So if you want to convert that, but it's it's a little bit way too small for Marvel Legends and whatever else. But he comes with this table. Here's the, how the chair works. Kind of have to get this joint to stick like that. It's not the stablest of chairs. And the safe, the way they did this is really interesting because if you've ever gotten Revil Tech, they all come with like these little orange squares that you can hide your accessories in. So yeah. But this one's disguised as safe, so it has double purpose, which is awesome. Uh, it comes with these. I'm not sure what these are do. If they plug into here or not. I'll have to figure that out. Because like I said uh, before, I mentioned it at least, that the old ones, they came with directions. And this one did not come with directions. These are the bullet effects. It has one, two, three, four, five. Five of those. Let's see, head sculpts, all these hand sculpts. This is, in fact, a key. So, yeah. I mean, this is a an awesome figure. Uh, Paint-wise, it's a lot of flat flat colors. Not a lot of shading or anything going on, which is cool, though. I don't mind at all. The, the face sculpts are all just wonderfully done. No complaints with those at all. If it's ever going to focus. Never focus when I want it to. But yeah, I really recommend these figures. I got the uh, this one. I'm gonna do this one next. So uh, keep a lookout for this loop in the third action figure. I'm gonna do that. Thanks for watching this one, guys. Uh, I highly recommend this figure. It's pretty great uh, for the price. I wouldn't pay, you know, more than forty. That's just a personal opinion because it is an older figure and it feels. And some of the joints do feel older, but it's it's still good. Forty dollars is about right, in my opinion. USD. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.